future of 21 national monuments is under federal review this morning. President Trump is expected soon to significantly downgrade some of them in size and in scope. The Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument that's in Utah could shrink by 40 to 60 percent. And that's a bigger area than the whole state of Rhode Island. Many scientists worry, though, that the move could damage one of the richest deposits of dinosaur bones in the world. Maria Virial went on a dig to see the concerns about the potential changes firsthand. One, two, three. No, no, no. Paleontologists call this flipping the jacket, and it's one of the most nerve-wracking moments of their job. You're worried you could damage it. Yeah, I really am. But for Dr. Alan Titus, it's also the reward for all his hard work. Oh, my God. We just exposed more bone. Yeah. Yeah, that's Tyrannosaur bone right there. Titus is the paleontologist for the Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument in southern Utah. So that bone right there is 75 million years old. And some change, yeah. And today, he's unearthing part of a site he thinks contains four or five ancestors of the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex. Does it feel like you struck gold? Oh, my. Yes. You actually are emotional about it. I get very emotional about it, but I get excited about this kind of stuff. And there's a lot for him to get excited about. In the two decades since the 1.9 million acre patch of desert was designated a national monument, 25 new species of dinosaurs have been discovered in its sands. When this area became designated a national monument, was that a catalyst? Yeah, when Grand Staircase was created in 1996, it was originally envisioned that it would be an outdoor laboratory. On this remarkable site, God's handiwork is everywhere, in the fossil record of dinosaurs and other prehistoric life. But that designation by President Bill Clinton also enraged many residents of southern Utah who suddenly were limited in their ability to graze cattle, extract minerals like coal, or even build roads. Grand Staircase National Monument is probably one of the most volatile issues in Utah. People are still angry. They're still angry, yeah. Hey, ha! Rancher Michael Knoll has led the fight against the monument ever since it was created. He was thrilled earlier this year when President Trump ordered his Interior Secretary, Ryan Zinke, to review and likely shrink the size of the monument, opening the land up to more commercial development. That means more people can utilize these lands in the future, and it does not mean selling them off, and it doesn't mean destroying them. All the laws, regulations, Archaeological Resource Protection Act will all be in place. So these fossils are around 75 million years old. I'm going to put this back then. Okay. <laughs> all right. Paleontologist Andy Farkey has been recovering specimens from the monument for years. If Trump changes its status, he fears there could be more recreational traffic like off-road vehicles and more chances for science to suffer. You know, there's a possibility that fossils may be lost or destroyed, things like fossil theft and vandalism. Once that record of our planet's history is gone, you know, we've lost something from the American story. Back in his lab, Alan Titus stays out of the political fight. After all, when it comes to exploring Grand Staircase land, he's hardly scratched the surface. We're about a fifth of the way through in essentially more than half of my career. So there's many careers worth of work left here to do just to document what lies here in the ground. For CBS This Morning, Mireya Villarreal in southern Utah. Well, thank you, Mireya. You know, dinosaur bones, not my passion, but you can understand why he's so excited about it. And they are cool looking. Very cool looking and quite old. You thinking about going on a dig? I have never done that, but I would be interested in doing that. Okay, okay. you let me know. Okay. You let me know how that goes. <laughs> We have different ideas of fun, I see, Nora O'Donnell. <laughs>